In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint regional settings. Basically, I will show you how we can change language, time zone, this kind of things. And we will see both uh, for the site level as well as for individual user level. If, if you are coming first time to the channel, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. I welcome you to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, then kindly subscribe to the channel for more free videos on Office 365, SharePoint, SPFX, Power Platform, all these technology videos you will get it free. Also press the bell icon so that immediately you will get a notification once I upload a video. Now what exactly we will see here is we will see two things here. One is the regional settings where we can do the settings for the entire site that means it will be appearing for every users and the other one is the personal settings for example as a user if i want to have a particular time zone then i can set it and that will be appear for me if i will set it for me or in fact i can also set it for every user so you have the option that you can do as an individual user so once you set this personal settings then the regional setting or the site level settings will be override and your changes will reflect. So what I'll do is I'll open the SharePoint site and then we will see how we how we can do these changes. So if I will open here uh, now you can see here this is a SharePoint site uh, Office 365 modern SharePoint online site and uh, to change uh, the regional settings you can go over here click on this gear icon and then you can click on site information basically you want to go to the site settings page you can see here then you can click on view all site settings page or the link and in if you are using a classic sharepoint site then you can directly click uh, over here in the settings icon and then you will see the option here site settings and then you can navigate to the site settings page for this modern site you can click on site information and then click on view all site settings and in the view all site settings you can see here under site administration there then there is regional settings and remember the settings that we are doing it is for a particular site that's the origin you can see you, you will be able to see it under under site administrator or administration now um, so if you have more sites you, you have to individually go there and you have to modify it click on regional settings and here you will be able to see the time zone you can see here this is the time zone and this will appear for every user unless and until they have modified something uh, which will cover in the later part so here you can actually change the settings anything you want you can change it uh, for let it be in this way and also there are some other things that you can see here uh, you can set up the calendar you can set up the sort order and also you can set the your work week you can see here this is the work week that you can set so you can in fact for the uh, day of the week you can set the time start time and end time so uh, this all these things will uh, you can set it here apart from that if you'll go here then you can see time format and here you can set 12 hour format or 24 hour format this is also quite interesting and you can change it here so this is the page where you can do the regional settings or the settings that will appear for every site or every user sorry not for every site that will be appear for all the users who will visit your particular site for every individual site you have to change it now before going to uh, how uh, as an individual user you can set this let me tell you i have a sharepoint development training course and if you if you are interested to learn sharepoint then you can enroll this course you can uh, visit this url i'll put in the video description and you can see the entire course content everything whatever they are in this and this course is more than 60 hours and you can learn everything including power platform spfx all these things you can go through here now let me go to uh, the how we can actually change uh, the language or you can say uh, the time zone for individual users I uh, let's say I'm based out in uh, on the on the IST time zone I and I want to change it then what I can do here is if you can see here uh, click on this user uh, icon you can see here and then my office profile click on that 
and once you click on that it will actually open your Dell profile you can see here ind.delve.office.com and here uh, you can see all the details like your name email address uh, uh, the link to OneDrive and if you scroll here you can see here update profile click on that one once you click on update profile you can actually change or you can see there are various information related to your profile right like uh, contact information, project, skills and expertise, uh, sc schools and education, interest and hobbies, all this information you can provide uh, your budget, uh, mobile number, phone, home phone, all these things. Uh, and then you can see there is a link which is saying that how can I change language and regional settings. Just click on this icon and then you can see here, click here, it is saying and then you can change the language and region. So click over here and it will, it will open a new page and remember the changes I am doing is for particular user which is this user the logged in user and you can click over this triple dot and then you can see here language and region so once you click on this language and region you can see here actually uh, this is disabled here you can simply come here to uh, choose your settings and then just select the second option which is saying allows uh, uh, allow uh, use my personal settings once you enable this you can see the time zone now now I can change any time zone here for example let's say I will uh, select the IST time zone which is plus 530 you can see here uh, and if I will say uh, everyone then actually this time zone will be uh, will be displayed to everyone if I will say uh, only to me then this will be only appear to me when I logged in so you can carefully select this uh, and then uh, you can see here define the your work week and then you can change your uh, uh, time format uh, apart from that also the language you can see here uh, the local you can change so this settings almost is similar to um, to the options that we saw in the uh, in the site level things or in the regional settings uh, but here uh, as a personal level you can you can select this and you can say save and close and then this settings will be applied only to this user for the timing being i'll cancel this and this is how actually you can change uh, the regional settings the language and the time zone for individual user as well as at the site level so as I said before, if you like uh, this videos, kindly subscribe to the channel and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint Office 365. All these technologies, you will get it for free. So thank you and have a nice day.